not out here trying to destroy the union per se, we're trying to save the way of life of the Southerner. Whenever you get Reconstruction and you put ex-black slaves over the old white quote masters and white people in general, that built a lot of hatred. Uh -huh. yeah. And this is passed down from generation to generation. We're only looking at 150 years. Right. Three, 400 years, it'll be nobody will care. I'm especially sensitive to division, in part because I grew up for the first 10 years of my life in South Korea, which went through a civil war 60 years ago. It is a country still divided in half and technically at war. I grew up a pouring war and longing for unity. I brought that part of my soul to America as an immigrant. To be honest, um, I think a, a new secession movement might work. You would like to see I would. the yeah. South secede? Sure. Unless that happens and we cut off that part of the country that wants to be more of a socialist country, then, uh, you know, let them go. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I like the country the way it was founded. But if you secede, I mean, will you not have anything to do with the other America? We're still friends and neighbors. Mm -hmm. But what about some of the people who are living in the South now who don't necessarily like the old South? Would you ask them to leave? Or? Oh, no. Okay. Wait, no, I wouldn't ask anybody to leave. Oh, okay. But see, you'd have the choice. I want to see if we can find a way to remain in the United States and not have secession be the solution yeah. to the division. I'm so, ready. Well, I think <laughs> if we got the right people in leadership, yeah. we could. Well, I mean, that. That's up to us. That's right. Yeah. Who well, we elect, I, right? Well, and, yeah. And, yeah. I, well, I vote for those people. They just seem not to get elected. <laughs> <laughs> Got too many other people voting. Yeah. We had installed that to the ones that gave their life during the Civil War on the Confederate side. We've also put one in Yancey County the year before. The truth needs to be told on the side of why the war was started. At the core of the two conflicting stories of America is a question about trust. Because there were so many unhealed wounds from the Civil War, the narrative from the Confederate South is that the government can't be trusted, that somehow their attempt to protect people would favor one group over the other. I believe the government's helping more people out that really don't need it. They're helping out a lot of people that's lazy, that won't work. They did a bunch of cutbacks and you know, a lot of us got laid off. You know, then some of us, they sent to Virginia and trained and brought back and put us in a different company, but you know, that company laid off too. Burlington was named after the factories was in this town. And you know, it was a factory in every corner of Burlington. Now, all the factory's gone, and uh, the work just dried up. This is hard. It's hard. Frustrated. Yeah, and the more and more you fight, you lose the energy, and you lose the willpower. This is my willpower, you know what I'm saying? So I use these two to keep pushing and pushing. We've had all of our textile industries took from us, shipped overseas for cheaper labor. He has struggled, he wants to work, and he struggled with, well, should I get on disability? I've always been taught, you know, pray about things and just pray about, you know, should I draw SSI? Should I get help? Uh, do I really need the help? I'm not exactly sure what I want to do. It's, I mean, if you eating at me. draw from disability, I mean, are you afraid people are going to judge you? Yeah. Uh, they'll think, you know, look at him. He's He can work just because he's got one arm. He can work just as good as I can. The economy right now works against most people. It's not your fault they took the jobs away from our country. You didn't decide that. 
you're only 20. <laughs> you it's not. Two things that are kind of contradictory. One is that there are people who deserve it more than you. Yeah. But in general, you feel like the most people or many of the people on it don't deserve it at all, right? Well, I'm not saying nobody does. I'm saying there's a few out there that are just, I guess I'm, now that I think about it, I'm actually judging people that I don't really know, so I can't really say that now.